Hello everybody, so I'm back. I know I've taken a little bit of a break from YouTube. I haven't been posting as regularly as I usually do. And that's just because I have a lot of changes in my makeup room, vanity room, whatever you want to call it, girl cave. I got a new desk for my birthday, so I'm super excited about that. I will be doing, I guess, maybe an updated room tour type thing. Uh, to show you guys everything. I have a DIY coming up so definitely check out that. It was so cool. I did some awesome stuff. If you follow me on Instagram you might have seen a few pictures as well. If you don't follow me on Instagram you definitely should. Um, I think that's about it. So yeah there was just a lot of things going on. My makeup room was kind of a disaster for the last couple of or the last week or so so I wasn't able to film anything but I got everything set up in, you know, in its spot and everything, and it's all good to go now. I love it. It's, oh, it's just so much better. There's so much more room, and it's just perfect. So I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing everything and seeing how I store everything now. It's so much better. So today I filmed this look that I'm wearing. It's a really fun neutral eye with a bold lip, which is great for uh, the fall time I guess right the eye is a little bit more smoky but I think it ties in really really nicely with the dark lip I think it looks great um, I really enjoy just playing around with different palettes of mine I can now like see them before I just had so much and not enough room that I wouldn't be able to actually see all my palettes if that makes any sense or um, you know, just have them accessible so I would actually grab them. So today I actually used this Drinking of Shine Wet n Wild um, palette, which is gorgeous. It's all matte colors. So this side is all neutrals. I used this color here, which is like a orangey nude color. It leans a little bit orange, but it's really nice because it warms up the face. And then I used this color here, which is gorgeous in the crease. When I blended it onto my crease, it sort of came out purpley. I don't know if it was because of mixing with the nudie orange color or what it was. I, I had a nude base and I also used the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Yogurt, which has sort of a pinky tinge to it, but I only use that on my eyelid, so I'm not sure what happened there, but it is a really pretty matte brown, which kind of, I guess, leans a little bit purpley, which, oh, it just looks so awesome on the eye. As you can see, it's amazing in the crease. Um, and that was all that I used from this palette for my highlight. I used uh, Venus, and I used this palette. So I'm not going to talk too much because I know you guys want to jump into the tutorial. You know if there are any looks that you are after. Um, may I add, I used the Riri Love Hearts Mac or whatever it was in Talk That Talk. It's a retro matte, <sighs> amazing lipstick. Um, I'm so glad I got my hands on this one. I really, really want the nude one. I'm hoping um, they launch in the bay on... Thursday next week, I believe. So I'm hoping I can get there and get the nude. So this was at the pro launch that I got this. So I, I'm loving it. I think it looks so pretty. And I paired it with a lip liner and a lip gloss that just, I don't know, made it perfect. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to achieve this look, just keep watching. So as always, I'm going to begin by priming my eyelid just to avoid any creasing and to ensure that the shadows will last all day. He says he loves me as long as the Now I'm applying this base. It's uh, the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Yogurt. It's just going to give a little sheen under the matte shadow. So now taking the drinking a glass of shine wet and wild palette I'm taking this peachy toned color and I'm packing that all over my eyelid I'm talking about you me what do you want what do you see and where is for ever reside the girl's gotta make her peace with a man all right so next you're gonna go into the deep brown color and I'm gonna use sort of a um, dense smudging brush to apply this 
Um, and I'm going to apply it in the outer corner and just drag it up into my crease as well. Just sort of really defining my outer V and crease. Now you want to take the color Naked. I'm taking Naked for um, the Naked Basics palette, or Naked 2 I think it is. Anyways, this look really needs a good hand. You need to blend, blend, blend. So having a really nice um, neutral color to blend is definitely a plus for this look. So now I, after blending, I just want to go back in and deepen up the crease as in the midst of blending, um, you might lose the depth. And then you want to go in and blend again because you don't want any of those harsh lines. Like I said guys, a lot of blending just to get it perfect. So next I'm taking this eyeliner by Lancome. This is their eye pencil in prune and I'm just using that to line the bottom lash line. I'm sort of using that as a base uh, for the shadow I'm going to place on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go into the dark brown and I'm going to use that again on that smudger brush. I don't know what to call this brush. It's sort of a tapered blending brush but it's very dense and um, I'm just applying the shadow underneath and then blending it out with a big fluffy blending brush. Now I'm going to take my favorite highlight color and this is Venus from the Naked Basics palette and I'm using that in my inner corner and under my eyebrow. Alright, so I don't think this look would be done or complete without some winged eyeliner so I went ahead and added some of that. And then I'm just going to line my waterline with a black pencil. And now just to clear up any fallout and um, sort of brighten up my under eyes as well, I like to apply a little bit of concealer and then blend it out with my beauty blender. Now for some finishing touches, I'm just, again, going in there and deepening it up a little bit as I didn't think it was deep enough in the crease, so just doing that. And now I'm just going to curl my lashes and add some mascara. Well, it's about as new as last year's rain pouring down from the sky so high, and you get used to. And now, just to add some color to my face, I am adding a little bit of a bronzer. Time for my favorite part, blush. I'm using this blush in Desert Rose by NYX. It is a little bit crazy pigmented, so as you can see, it came off a little bit too bright, but don't you worry, I blended that baby out and I made it work for me. Now I'm just adding my favorite highlight. This is the Mary Luminizer. Oh, I love this highlight. It's gorgeous. And now for brows, of course. No look is complete without your brows done. I'm talking about you and me. What do you want? What do you Darling, 
And now for a little bit of brow gel. Mine's kinda gross because it's filled with just my eyebrow color. But anyways, this is a must if you need to keep any hairs down. So let's talk lips. I am lining my lips with the Vino Lip Pencil by MAC. And I'm just going to sort of contour my lips by making it a little bit darker at the edges of my lips, as you can see. And then I'm going to apply the lipstick. So here's the lipstick. It's Talk That Talk from the new Rihanna line by MAC. Oh my god, I love the color. It's so me. It's so perfect. It's a retro matte, so it's a little bit drying. But if you moisturize your lips perfectly ahead of time, you're good to go and you'll love it just as much. And I am adding a gloss. This is one of the MAC, I think, lip glasses. I don't know, I'm not too familiar with their lip glosses in general. And this is in a limited edition color called Heroin. And that concludes the look, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. The days to come. Where do you want to be? I'm talking about you and me. What do you want? What do you see? And what Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really had fun with it. I just love creating looks these days. I just, I don't know. I love doing it. I just, I love it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it turned out really well. And again, so affordable, this palette. I don't know if it was limited edition exactly, but I know a lot of people picked it up. So if you have it, <laughs> that's a plus. And if not, you can just use similar colors. There are a lot of dupes for those colors. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I love you all to the moon and back. Talk to you later. Bye. You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't replace. You are. You are.